Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create the templates and the inheritance of templates. So let's get started. So open your code first. And uh, inside this views folder, we have two pages. So let me create one more file. Uh, Index.blade.php Okay, so here, let me give HTML Okay, so here I'll paste this is our home page. Okay, and for the design, we'll just go to the getbootstrap.com. I'll just show you why we are using this. Get bootstrap documentation, and I have the 4.5 version, so we'll use that 4.5 version. Just navbar I like the simple one so I'll just take this this is clean and simple so just let us paste this here okay and the CSS link you have to paste it so let us go here get the CSS link documentation okay so this is a CSS Okay, so CSS is done and the JS also will paste it or here. Copy this and paste it or here. Okay, so now let us check the output. Okay, we didn't uh, redact to the page actually. So go to web.bhp and change this to index okay so now we should get this as the output reload so this is our navbar and i want to use the same navbar for the home page as well as the about us page so first let us add the about us page to this navbar go here home go about us go here route okay within double curly braces you have to paste this and I'm using the name for the about so if you had seen the previous video you'll understand what is happening here so I have given the name about so this is the I have to call the route function over here route about save and for the home we have to give this as the URL over here give url and in then single quotes just put this slash so now let us check the output reload you can see home about us so you get the about us page and this is the home page so in the about us page i want the same navbar i don't want the navbar to disappear so there are two ways of doing it either you copy the whole thing and paste it in the about us page so but when you do that if you have a minor changes in this if you just want to change this tag over here to something else you have to go to the each page and change it so for that you have a solution you can create a includes folder here inside views just create one uh, new folder we'll create layouts layouts hit enter layouts inside that just create a file like we'll keep uh, front end dot blade dot php so this will be our uh, main file which we will inherit and use in all the files so let us copy this whole thing copy and paste it here so this will be the code for navbar and we'll just remove this oops what happened here Okay, so this there's some mistake in the alignment. We'll just beautify this file. Okay. So now remove this and add a yield function over here. Add Y I E. Yeah. Add yield 
and put here content okay make it small okay delete content so the title and all we'll see later for now we'll just check how it, if it is working or not so this you have to just go to index remove the whole code and just give extends here okay extends this will be the file name so inside layouts you have front end so give layouts dot front end so you have extended it now give the which section you want to use add section okay section content and now we will just give here a h1 tag hey this is home page save it and now let us run and check the output so reload and you see the navbar has been inherited from the main template this is home page now click about us so in about us we have not in, uh, extended this template earlier so let us go to the about us page about and just copy and paste the same thing over there so you don't have to open html head title tag and all it's all there in this you just have to mention in which part of the page this has to go and settle so you have given here add section content so in this we have given here yield content so whatever content is there it will come between this part so here let us change this this is about page and now reload the page okay so this is home page you know, go to about you have the navbar over there and hey, this is a about page so you can just go back to that same thing so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to create a template and inherit the main template and all the uh, other templates so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching